All right, you guys, I'm with my guy Troy right here, and we're at Hearth, one of the fastest growing sneaker stores in the city. And they're gonna tell us a couple things about starting a shop, what it costs, and what it takes, and actually moving to a new location. So that way we can help teach the people along the way. So are you ready to get into it? Let's do it. All right, let's get it. So we're in the back right now. We got all the inventory back here. They're moving some stuff around. We'll get into that in a bit. Yep. But I want to know, how did you guys even get started and how did you get started in the game? Yeah, bro. So the way I got into sneakers was actually in high school. I remember I was a sophomore in high school. Okay. Uh, loved hooping, like basketball. I was like geeked for basketball, okay. like NBA. Like my favorite player was Kobe, right, at the time. So what year was this? This was 2012. Okay. So this is like, when, you know, uh, this is like Kobe Boston era, a little bit. Yeah, no, right? this is a yeah, good time. Yeah, yeah. This is a good, good time. time. You got Galaxy stuff about yeah, to come out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. NBA All Star Weekend yeah, was popping. Yeah, no, you for know, sure. Yeah. For sure. I remember and that. And so I so badly just wanted Kobe's only to hoop in. Okay. But uh, they're pretty expensive. So, yeah. well, compared to sneakers now, right? It doesn't seem as right, expensive. Right, right, but right. But back then, as a kid, like I didn't have money. So what I did was I would buy used sneakers on eBay. Okay. Because I saw like some friends like getting into sneaker reselling, mm -hmm. and um, I'd buy like cheap shoes, like. 50 bucks maybe and like clean them up with a toothbrush mm -hmm. um and then like sell that 50 dollar shoe for like 75. i feel like that's how we all got started i, I was on the same way starts, back right? in high school yeah, doing yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. i know exactly what you mean and so i was just like doing that and then like one 50 dollar shoe turned into a hundred dollar shoe mm -hmm. and then it, i was like oh i can actually keep buying sneakers with by selling sneakers right 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 and so that's kind of how i got into it and then from there just kind of i just kind of scaled it right Keep, so talk turning. about the scaling process just quickly. Like, yeah, so I'd say did, like, like, you know, that first bulk deal or yep. that, that time that you had those yeah. memories. So this was like back when it was, a, I'd say easier to like get shoes retail, Okay. right? So you'd hit all your local spots, your foot lockers, you, you'd uh, enter the raffles, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like so this where, is probably like 2013, 14 Yeah, time. 13, 14. And then Jordan Retros at that time was also like kind of on the downfall. Yes. Like they weren't really hitting and Yeezys as just much. came out. Great fives and all that stuff yeah, was yeah, around. Yeah. It was like fire reds. I remember that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so 2015, about like when I was in college, Yeezy started like going crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that was like the first shoe when I actually like, uh, I hit like three pairs online mm -hmm. and they were like sold for so much. I remember like the black 750s yeah. sold yeah. for like 2,500 bucks, right? And so I'd see like that 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 type of money that could be made on sneakers. Mm -hmm. And so from there, I, like I said, like, like anything, you make money on something, don't just go waste your money, right? right. Save it for the next play, right? Mm -hmm. So I made money there, then I was able to buy more shoes, right? And then I made money and just kind of just like snowball effect. Right, right, right. And so right. now where, um, I was able to acquire enough shoes over the years where I was like, you know, I honestly have enough to open a sneaker store. Or, so when you were selling during that time too, was it like Instagram, eBay, what platforms were, you know, like yeah. offer up at the yeah. time was kind of on at the price. time Craigslist was falling yeah. off. Like it was kind of in that era of totally. that time of that happening. So what was your kind of go-to when it comes yeah. to selling locally and online and stuff? During that time, it was eBay. eBay still. Yeah. Okay, I eBay. Like that. Uh, you can never go wrong with eBay. You can never go wrong with eBay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I think like StockX started to come out. When did StockX? It was like 2016 or something like that. 2017, around there. Around there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, but then I kind of learned later on that um, I started selling more like locally, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of when I was selling more locally. I was like, I got a lot of feedback. Like, oh, it'd be great if we had a sneaker store like outside of downtown. Portland. Right, right, right. And so it kind of put this idea in my head where I was, it was more like one day I'm open. One a store. day, right? Yeah. yeah, one day I open a store. So okay. that's kind of how. And now we're here. Yeah. So so again, we can get into all the details more and more and more in plenty of other videos because yeah. I want to do more series on the channel, but uh, we got a lot of inventory here. So this is the first store. When did this store uh, open up? Yep. And then what's the plan going forward? Because we're going to show them the new store that's going to be opening yeah. and potentially the final location at the yeah. end of the video. Yeah. So where we're at right now is this is our current space. Uh, we are moving out of here tonight. Okay right across the hall pretty much we'll, okay. we'll put our uh, instagram link where it kind of explains everything <laughs> yeah. but um and we're going to be there january 1st so like this weekend okay till may 1st may 1st so may three months yeah, march uh, april may four, no, four months yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay so our bigger location is going to be like double the space we're putting in like a special ice cream uh business in there as well you guys will see more on that coming up um but we're gonna be getting all that ready. We're doing construction, 
demo, plumbing, like mm -hmm. the whole nine. And we can talk about costs. Yeah. Because I know everybody wants to talk about costs because it all looks good and pretty. The practicality. But we got to talk about realistic numbers as well and how much it even costs to have inventory and the displays and the this yep. and that. So like we talk about all the time. Yeah. The bags. The, the bags, shopping bags. The bags. That's our favorite yep. thing to talk about. How yeah. much it costs for shopping bags. So as we go throughout and getting stuff moved, I think we should get to that right now and show them a little bit more of the yeah. store that we got and then what's going to the new shop. Totally. And we'll talk about some costs as we go throughout the yeah. video as well. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell them before we get started moving boxes? Um, no, you know, thank you guys for, you know, supporting us and our journey. We're, we're just starting our YouTube channel and DJ has been a big friend and just a mentor of ours, just helping us along the way. So definitely make sure you guys check yeah. out their channel. I'll have a link for you guys down below. And also at the end of the video, I'll have them tagged as there as well. So you don't have to worry about none of that. You guys will be able to find them very, <laughs> very easy. Cause I know it's hard when you get started, people yeah. try to search your name and yep. there's like a rough yeah. start. So I know exactly how that goes, yeah. but I'm ready to move some boxes and I'm trying to see what you got in a size 13, Let's you know what I'm saying? I'm yep. always looking in the shop, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get into that. Cool. Perfect. Okay. All right, bye. So what's going on? So we are moving, one second. Hello? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Bye. Um, so right now we are getting everything moved over from our old spot to this new temporary spot, uh, which will be here till May until our huge, way doper spot is going to be open in the same mall. Um, so right now you can take a look around, piles of shoes, come in, come in, uh, storage going back. We got the whole gang. Helping all hands on deck. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Rachel. Good to see you. Happy holidays. Yeah. Um, this is Spencer. This is our digital, our graphic, our uh, brand guy. Brand. Yeah. Kind of a Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife. He's been with us since day one, helping out and, and helping bring this to life, so yeah. I didn't know I was going to make this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> product moved over now all we got left is the greenery that we had put when we opened up all over the walls super super manual process like zip tie in like all of it. so luckily we have a team now so we learned from last time we're gonna cut take it all off and then just bring it over and then we'll just patch it on over there each of these greenery pieces are about 12 by 12 and what do they cost so a pack of 12 squares was is like I think 40 bucks or something okay something like that so total for this whole space it was about four or five thousand just which is a cheaper way to do walls. greenery yes okay okay and yeah. then you got these little rugs right here talk about the little rugs yeah because that's like your signage right yeah you men's so, women's so we have signs, different stuff like that so something that people won't really know is we actually have like our own font that we purchase and own so mm -hmm. It's called Right Grotesque. Um, that's what our, our signage, our logo, it's all this, this specific font. I got a guy who makes rugs and uh, based out of LA, so I sent him what we needed and he turned them around. Each rug is about four to 600. Okay. About, yeah. For the logo ones like this. Yep. And then the little ones like that. Probably around three, 300 or so. And then you got all the yeah. different sizes, men's, whims, kids, yep. kids, kids, all the different stuff. Huge. And then you got a new rug that's in the new store or is that the same one, the big one? Uh, that Yeah, that one, we actually didn't have any space in here to put it up, so okay. we're gonna be putting it up over there. So you got a big rug in there. How much yep. is that one? That one I think was like 800 or 800 so. bucks for yeah. the rug, okay. So, so it all adds up. And then the shelves, how much is the shelves too, right? <laughs> shelves, <laughs> shelves, we were, I think 
So the thing, the thing with shelves is they have to be cut a certain way to fit your store. Mm -hmm. You can't just go to Home Depot and buy the exact shelf you're gonna put up. Uh, so shelves all together, I, ballpark, we probably spent Two thousand, two grand or so on just shelving, on the shelving yeah. throughout this store right here, so which, the which is the has, cheaper end, right? And the other store has shelving kind of already built in it. For uh, no, we had to buy. We had to buy shelving. You good? They're not using those anymore. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> we're not using that. Yeah. Um, so you had to buy new shelving for the new spot. Yeah. Okay. So that costs. The same about around two thousand. Okay. Okay. So and then that doesn't pay for, you know, people I pay, you know, we pay to uh, install it all. Right. Right. They're here. The labor costs. Labor costs. Right. So for the greenery and the shelving throughout the store, not including the case that was right here, that's gonna be somewhere around ten, fifteen thousand dollars just yeah, for that. Just for that. Okay. Just okay. for that. Um, what was I gonna say? Just for that, yeah, about like 10, 15,000. And then for our new spot that we're gonna, our, and we opened in the summer, we're gonna be doing like way nicer. Basically, we're gonna put more money into the appearance of the store. The so displays. the shelving, right? Yeah. We're gonna get it like uh, actual people who make the shelves. Okay. Um, track lighting to make it really pop. Oh, okay, like dope, dope, Different dope. type of wood, so. Which is gonna be yeah. like four times it's the price. It's gonna be a lot more. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's get back to work and see what's happening and then yeah. we'll get a little update in a second. Yeah, we'll be here all night. <laughs> All right, so there's a bunch of inventory sitting in here. I see you guys are already starting to fill the fitting room, so you're not gonna be using those spaces for uh, people to actually try anything yeah. on. No I mean, trying. it's not really like clothes, it's mainly shoes and stuff, yep. so. Exactly. You're talking about the wall that's gonna go right here? Yeah, so we're gonna kind of put a A-frame wall here that will kind of keep everyone, kind of just under, know where the barrier is, right? Mm -hmm. For like employees and not employees, so. Um, Customers can kind of roam here. We're going to figure out what to put over here, but for the most part, it's mainly walls, right? That's okay. going to be more display. So okay. the sneaker shelves, um, the greenery will be applied in here later tonight. And um, right now we're mainly just trying to get all our inventory over here. So trying to fit everything in here and then mm -hmm. we got this inventory. This is the actual inventory Yeah, room. actual inventory room. So there's about like four or five different Bays, rows yeah. up in here. Yeah. So how do you guys kind of got this organized <laughs> and then like, Inventory, like how many pairs do you usually like have on inventory for the yeah. store based on the size of the store? How many square feet was it before and then yeah. what you can kind of sustain in that yeah. space? So I would say, um, oof, it's kind of a tough question because turnover is so fast. Oh well, yeah, I know like, it kind of will yeah, kind fluctuate of evolves, throughout the but, seasons and stuff. Uh, so we obviously organize everything by size. Okay. So we don't, some some stores I know they do by like style, so okay. all dumps, Jordan 1s, all dumps, Jordan 1s, different stuff yeah. like that. Okay. We do it by size. Okay. Um, could kind of makes it easier for our staff. But okay. um, so yeah, we have all these types of bays that will have sizes so like this hole here is nine and a half. Okay, um, you got your eights over here. That's kind of eights, working way yeah, over kind of work our way over. over um, yeah, but I would say we have, I don't know the exact number, we have thousands of pairs of shoes. Okay. Yeah, when we did open, we only had I think like a couple hundred pairs. I remember when I yeah, first yeah. came in, and it's always like that with a lot of shops. Like yeah. you gotta get the doors open and get stuff going. Exactly. Try to yeah. get a few hundred pairs under your belt and yeah, get that yeah. shop open. And yeah. as more people find the space, they start bringing stuff in on, cause, right. well, you don't do consignment, but yeah. bringing stuff in to sell and they know they can come yep. and sell. So what we was that like? We do not do consignment. We are always buying those. So right. feel free to bring in your shoes. We'll, we'll, we'll give you cash to store credit offer. Um, but yeah, when we opened the store, I remember when you came in, we had so much room on the shelves. Yeah, yeah. Um, every shoe was like, uh, you know, a couple of- You like turn it yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, show the yeah, profile. Yeah. Now you gotta like the stack them all straight up. Um, whereas now, where it became to the point where like, they all became vertical. Yeah. And so uh, luckily here we have some more space so we can kind of angle them. But one thing we do that um, a lot of other places, I don't, a lot of other places do it, but we don't do it mm -hmm. is if we only, if we have 10 pairs of, let's say, a USC Dunk, mm -hmm. we only put out one pair right. and we list the sizes on there. Right. Um, obviously, you can fill more space if we put out all 10 USC Dunks. And right? I'm not a big fan of that. I don't so, like coming in to consign, like that's an immediate turn off for me. I yeah. was like, just sneaker head and yeah, consumer yeah, yeah, yeah. side and everything. Like when I walk in the store, I'm like, 
you got 20 of the same shoe exactly. line. It's like, bro, like diversify so, the inventory. Give me some like, more options. I get it. Like, you're trying to fill space. Yeah. And maybe you don't have the inventory to do that yet. And so it makes sense. But um, that's why, yeah, for us, like a Panda Dog, we have hundreds of Panda Dogs. Right. So we're just going to pull one out. Put one out. And, and then if you want it, it, all the sizes yeah. are there. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I was going to ask you something else about uh oh the space and just kind of how like <clears throat> what's the square footage there compared and then compared to here and yep. then what you're going to be moving towards and how you kind of prep for that as well yeah it's a great question actually so our old space was about 1800 square feet mm -hmm. but that includes the back room which mm -hmm. was like half the space okay so basically so the floor like, space was like what like 900 about okay so it's about half and half yeah okay. and so max we could have like 30 35 pushing it people in the store at once okay, okay. where it just became unmanageable it's too many people right right and so and, oh we could talk about that too yeah i know we can get into so many different things know, but yeah I'll, just roughly what is your goal to having uh you know employees per customers in the store yeah. especially when you got yeah. streetwear items like this and you got people that might be stealing Facts, yeah. and different stuff like that so you know security is huge for us um we have obviously all we have all the security systems and we have a uh, certain processes in place that kind of can keep loss and prevention low. Mm -hmm. Every small business for the most part is gonna experience that at some level. Right. Um, and so for us, uh, we a lot of times we would have to do a line because if we have three employees or four employees out right. on the floor, one person's in the back, you know, retrieving pairs, one person might be at the register, right? We mm -hmm. one person helping Help customers. Yeah. Um, and so with this space, we're moving from 1,900 square feet about okay. to about uh, 2,700 about. Okay, so you got yeah, about yeah, 1,000 yeah. square yeah. feet, a little bit more, but exactly. still trying to figure out the storage. You right. got more square footage in the in the floor, yeah, but it's yeah. like, I need more storage but space. Storage. So it's like, you we're paying per square foot. Right. So it's like, okay, well, it's up to the tenant to decide, well, how much of that square footage do you want to just be storage? Right. That won't help your sales, right? Right, right, right. It's just going to hold your inventory. Mm -hmm which I guess indirectly helps sales if you have more inventory. But our new spot that we will be moving to in May, um, we're going from, we're basically going to about 3,500 square 3, feet. 3,500, and this is, you said 20? This is about 26, 27. 26, okay, so an additional 1,000. Yes. And then we'll talk about that later on the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to get a glimpse back here so they can kind of see that whole Absolutely, aspect yeah. of that. And then we need to talk about more stuff inside the shop on yep. pricing and everything as yeah, well when it yeah. comes to, like you said, the security system, the POS, all the other yep. things that go, the, the racks for yeah. the stuff, the hangers, you name Like, look at all these hangers in the back. Non all that stop. stuff costs yep. money as well so yeah uh let's go ahead and get to helping these let's guys back getting more stuff moved in i know we're in the way right now but uh there's a lot going on a lot of moving pieces hopefully the cameraman makes it safely over there he's good he's like bro we gotta go <laughs> so they're about to put they got the green turf up right here yeah so we're putting up the greenery from the uh, other store, just take it and move it into here. Yeah. So, yo, you guys need these shelves off? Okay. Um, oh, you're just gonna lift the whole shelf? No, I know. Should we just lift it, or is there- These ones, it, these ones are- two different no, no, ones. No, hold it That's by connected. this pocket. So it's drilled together, hold it there, and then one over there, and then one over there. Where are we gonna put it? Just on the floor right here. Floor right there? Okay. Let's move this a little. Oh, yeah, step over, step over that way. It's, it's oh, shit. There. Good? All right, you guys. We're out here. We're grinding hard tonight. Yep. <laughs> right, and then we'll just let's put it right here, and then we'll do all of them. How are you going to pick these up off the ground? Yeah, I know. So, you got clothing. Um, if I was coming into the store, yeah. I would say, if somebody hit, what's the store like? I would say, they got a good amount of shoes. They got a decent amount of clothing inventory. Yeah and not too many accessories. That's what I would tell somebody. Yes. So for you, when it comes to clothing uh, and your goal towards accessories in the new yeah. shop, where, where do you kind of stand and feel when it comes to those type of items and what yeah. do you carry? So regarding clothing, um, compared to where we started, we have way more. Definitely. Now. So I we, remember when I came in, y'all had like yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the thing with, uh, that limited us at the other spot was simply space. Mm -hmm. So we had four racks. We we had hella clothes in the back that we could put on more racks, mm -hmm. but we just don't want to put the racks. Right, I got you. So now we'll have way more space, Plenty right? Especially space. for our own apparel to put out. But we will, uh, 
continue to keep adding more and more. And we're actually gonna bring more racks over. Okay. So we'll have more and more clubs. In this place? In this place. So right here you got four or five racks over here. How much do these racks cost and where do you get them from? So we went cheap when we started. It looks good though. So these are, uh, these are cheap. These are like maybe 50 bucks, or maybe 60, 70 bucks actually. Okay, okay. Um, and like, then all these hangers? Yeah. Hangers, yep, Ikea. Ikea packs. Yep, Ikea Those are like packs. the three, four packs, something like that. Yeah. Just loading up the yep. bin, just yep. grabbing yep. as many as yep. you can. And that's like five bucks a pack or something yeah. like that and just yep. slowly adding up. You spend yeah. hundreds of dollars just on hangers. Exactly, Maybe yeah. Maybe even a thousand dollars on know, hangers. You know, exactly, yep. Okay, and then these little bags and everything. Yeah. Uh, to protect the more expensive items. Yes. This, all this little stuff is the stuff that adds up here It's all and the stuff there you don't there. think about when yeah. you plan for it. Right. It's like, oh, well, we need these small things yeah. that, you know. So, um, yeah, like a lot of expensive, more expensive items like chrome, gallery, uh, some palm angels. Okay. We'll so, put in that type of so, thing. yeah, so you got uh, fear god, gallery, chrome, a lot of those type of things. Yeah. Much Central, more like Supreme, uh, Supreme and Babe. We got Supreme, we got Babe, okay. we got Warren Lotus, okay. um, we got Kith, we got. Um, Antisocial, okay. Brave Studio. Good mix. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. Mix. Eric Manuel, yeah. Okay, dope. So basically any streetwear brand you can kind of think of. Yeah. Yeah. OVO. Huh? OVO. Oh, OVO. Got the OVO. Exactly, we okay. got OVO, okay. yeah. Let's talk about your merch. Let's talk about that yeah. too. Because uh, you gotta produce the merch, you gotta pay for it, just yep. to get all these boxes, all this yeah. stuff. So when you said, I wanna do merch, <clears throat> Yeah. This was before or after the store opened, do you have merch? But, uh, after we opened. So after no, no, you well, opened? Well, we, we, we planned for it to be available when we opened. Okay. So yeah. it was available when it you opened? It was available when we opened. And then you expanded the line? Yeah. Then we sold out. Sold out. So we... we oh yeah, because you had the white tee with the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay. So we've had now like three different drops. And thankfully, like, just the support we've had has yeah. been just great. So we've sold out of uh, those drops and now... So let's talk about the first drop. Yeah. What was it like? You're like, okay, this is my budget. I want to spend on it, or I think I can sell this many. Yeah. Or what? Were, like, what were your your So it was, it was brand new, right? So yeah. it was like, oh, like how much do we charge? Are people gonna really, you know, fuck yeah. with us like that? Yeah. Where we should put a bunch of money in or not? So right. I think what we did was, I think we did about fifty per item. Okay. So we did like fifty t-shirts in white, fifty t-shirts in like gray, fifty mm -hmm. long sleeves, mm -hmm. fifty hoodies, and for when we first really dropped them. Um, and for me, like I'm big on quality. Right. So every approach we have to our apparel, like we're willing to like spend the highest price right. to make sure the quality is perfect. Cause, right. Make it worth it. Cause I'm not gonna wear stuff that's, you know, super, super cheap mm -hmm. quality and you know, shrinks up after one wash. You're right, right, you know, right, like, right. So um, we put a lot of time and effort into it, which is why I think people really like it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, we sold out of that first, when we first opened, we sold out, I think in like two, three weeks. Okay, Yeah. that was good. And so that was cool. And then we just were like, okay, well let's, let's do it again. Let's do something else more creative. Let's- So uh, you got some cool yeah, stuff yeah, coming yeah. for the third shot. Oh especially. yeah, yeah. I'm looking so forward to Q1, that. this like January, February, we're working on something special. Okay, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so merch, uh, what it, like I'm talking about pricing and everything, what did that kind of roughly cost you on that first drop? Like, all right, I'm gonna have to spend a couple of racks doing all yeah. this. Like, what am I wanting? So you got to like, it's a lot of things, right? And this goes into just all types of apparel. Mm -hmm. There's cost for blanks, right? Where mm -hmm. you get your blanks. You can get you can get cheap blanks up, maybe like five bucks a shirt if mm -hmm. you want, right? Obviously, it's gonna be the lowest quality. Right. Um, it's like that eight dollar tee, yeah, a whole yeah, different yeah. tee. It's a whole yeah. different tee. Yeah. So for us, uh, we go with the more premium blanks, which mm -hmm. cost with which run about like. 20 bucks a blank basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but also that, that incorporates the cost of printing, mm -hmm. the colors, um, certain blanks like this one's gonna be, this is like a mineral wash. These are gonna be more expensive than like, uh, like a blank color. Right, like this chocolate. right, right. So, a little bit more work put yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah. A little more work put into it. So, um, it just kind of depends like, everybody kind of wants a clothing brand now, right? Mm -hmm. So, you gotta kind of have something, I'd say, that kind of differentiates you and your brand. Definitely. So, the way we view it is like, we don't view it as merch. We view it as apparel, right? Right. Um, because you're our favorite brands. They don't view themselves as merch. 
right? They're like, no, we're legit apparel. Like, we right. make good clothes. Right, 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 right. And so for us, we kind of want to have that same type of approach when we come to it. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. So let's uh, let's let these guys get a little things more set up, and then we can talk about the security and the POS and a couple other things. Yeah. And sneaker displays and all the, the case, how much that costs, all the different stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Totally. All right. Let's do it. There is not a lot left in this place. We did a great job. The team did a great job of basically changing up and stripping the entire store. I have never seen it like this. It's really cool to see how quickly it's gone. We're gonna take a look in the back. Let's see how much is left. Um, as you can see, it's quite empty, but uh, we got a lot of hands on deck here. Looks like we got most of- All these, we got We got pretty much all grade schools. So we got size 11s. Uh, tens and larger sizes, four to seven and a half, three and a half wide, four wide, and then four and a half through seven. We got all the men's sizes, so this is about it. Um, and then just some miscellaneous stuff, but it uh, looks good. Looks good. So, so you gotta find a way to fit all this. We're gonna find a way to fit all of store. it. It's, we're gonna do this it. This is a lot right here to, this is basically all gonna have to go in the area where the yeah. uh, fitting rooms are at. Yeah, just so stack them up. And we're just we're basically gonna buy large vertical stacks like this from racks, Amazon yeah. or something racks, uh, and we're gonna do them vertically to maximize space. And then we're just gonna see how much fits on there. And if we have to put some on the top of the other racks in the backpack and get a, like a ladder to get them, then so be it. But you know, this is what we do. This is what startups are about. We, you know, got to do the nitty gritty and uh, figure out what works. All right, how are you feeling tonight? I'm okay. It's getting really hot. Um, we don't have enough room for anything anymore, but we're okay. Tyler? I did not. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's the night going? I'm tired. I'm drinking 40 ounces of Red Bull. 40 ounces? Yeah, I got another eight in my pocket. We're oh ready to go. my gosh. Good luck, bro. Good I'm luck, good. bro. I'm good. <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit sick and a little bit tired. <laughs> My parents are gonna watch this, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> um, and I'm feeling thirsty, so whoever's bringing those waters needs to uh, yeah, run it up. Run water's it up. on the way? Yeah, water okay. on the way, but not fast enough. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Trying not to go through a mental breakdown right now as I'm trying to figure all this out. So you had your AirPods in earlier. You yeah, them out. yeah, I'm charging them right now, so. Uh, Back to the they're AirPods help, they're, they're helping me cope, so. Right now, I'm trying not to. He, he manages the inventory? This man yeah. He does it all? He does it all? Okay. Yeah. I'm trying not to break down right now. Well, you're the god, so you got to hold it together for the team. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> all right, bro. Yeah. Oh, it let will me, be let me give out awards for the night right now. Okay. <laughs> award show? Most positive employee tonight okay. has been Luke. Let's go. Luke. No complaints, Let's go. just smiles and vibe check. <laughs> okay. Um, as you know, BN's our inventory king. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got this. He's stuck in purgatory. I got this. Inventory purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> it is currently. What 12 time 30? is it? It's 1220. 1220? We, we, we thought it would go till about two. Okay. So we're kind of on pace, but. I'm just waiting for water, man. You know, Everybody be hyped up after they get the The main water. thing is like tomorrow, if we're still working the kinks out, we can still be open, right? But yeah, we want to be open for this New Year's weekend, though. I feel it's that. It's going to be busy. It's going to be crazy. So yeah, let's talk about some numbers. You know, I like talking More about numbers. numbers. Okay. How much is a POS system? And what is a POS system? POS. Could be two things, piece of shit or yep. payment operating system. Okay. Or point of sale. Point of sale. Yep. For us, it's payment operating system. Okay. So, you know, you can use Clover, you can, you know, these are all things that, like you go to a restaurant, right? They might have a machine where you can tap, or mm -hmm. you can tip, or you can, mm -hmm. that's what a POS is. Y'all accept tips? Has, we don't do tips. Why not? I don't know. It I know. an extraordinary I, service and you do tips. We, we talked about it, we might dabble in it. Uh, we want to do it the right way, not the COVID way. Of, yeah. You didn't really do nothing, but you're going to put a tip in my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yo, that is a freaking scam. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah. Okay, so, so. The, how much does the system cost? Uh, system costs all together with the equipment, the card readers, the display. I'd say probably around like 3000 Three? Yeah. So 3000 for that. Uh, security cameras are getting set up. 
What is uh, what's the cost on security cameras? Uh, we use pretty expensive security. Maybe like four thousand. Four thousand on security, yeah. and then uh, Wi-Fi, utilities, all that stuff. What are those bills normally monthly for you guys? Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is like it's not as different as like your home Wi-Fi. Okay. So it's probably it's just like maybe forty percent more. Okay. It's about hundred something bucks. Hundred something bucks Close for Wi-Fi and everything. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to talk about numbers wise? You know, like let's talk about this case. Everybody always yeah. has these display cases at their shops and everything. What is the price of this case right here? Glass case. Did you buy it used or new? Brand new. You bought it brand new? It looks hella used now. We gotta clean it up a little bit, but. Everybody be leaning on uh, it and stuff. It has the lights inside, which kind of lights it up. Okay. Um, case was about, I think, 1800. Okay, 1800 for yeah. the case. Brought out like a uh, retail. Are you gonna be using this case uh, when you move to the next spot? We're gonna be doing something completely different. Different. Yeah. Dope display, something yeah, crazy. We'll see, yeah. It's okay, so crazy. what are you gonna do with the case and just try to sell it on offer up or something? Yeah, I haven't even thought that far yet. We'll see. I might need a display case for my house. Yeah, that's true, you might. You got more heat probably than the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, what about the sign? Everybody got their little signage yep. and everything. Like sign. Got the neon sign, the yeah. LED neon. So sign I was about about a thousand. We had to get it. Custom made, obviously. Yeah. You don't just have hard signs everywhere. Yeah. So, um, yeah, about another thousand. Another display item. And all these we got little like plants and everything. Plants, adding up the posters mirrors, and stuff. Um, bench, couch. A lot going on. Damn. Yeah. Well, looks like we got to get back to work. Yeah, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just got the waters in. Waters in. Everybody's, everybody's, the morale everybody's, is everybody's up. happy now. The morale is up. Yeah. This, is, this, this is not a paid sponsorship by Winko. <laughs> <laughs>
premium clothing items here with the chrome and stuff and this is your used section yep. so you guys do used as well i know a lot of yep. stores that kind of determine like uh should we just do new only some used yeah. stuff some do a lot of used stuff yep. we Are you do guys both. gonna like broaden it a little bit more when it comes to the used items yeah we uh used has been a lot of a lot of people, it's me as well. I like buying used as well. If I can find like, a worn ones shoe yeah. for like a hundred bucks less, I'll do that. But yeah, yeah, that, found them exactly. worn ones. Like I'm gonna get a good yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, we do have some used here. We have more in the back. We're just gonna let some of these turn over first, and then mm -hmm. we'll bring them out just because we don't want to add too many shelves. Got you. Um, but everything else is brand new in the store. So this uh, is like the part. women's and kids section women's over here. Women's and kids. We got to get the signage up here as well. But, okay. Um, Men's will be that whole entire wall behind yeah, us. Yeah, let's take it over here yeah. and talk about that. I was like kind of scared, you know, with the seeing the merch just sitting out on the shelves, like right by the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah. so somebody's just gonna grab and go. Because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's tough because we want to use the window display, right? Yeah. So all that traffic of people out here, what they're gonna see is, you know, our branded stuff. Right. So right. it's more more strategic, but also. I, we also don't want the shirts that we pay nine hundred dollars for sitting right. over here, where it's more where shoplifting could happen. Right, right, right. Obviously, we have people always on duty. We have secure all the security cameras, everything, where we can capture and report and do all that. But we just want to make it as you got to be smart, right? Yeah. You don't want to yeah. put people in positions where it's easy. So, right, yeah. right. Always thinking about those things. So yep. you got the men section over here, the clothing. You guys didn't actually really have to worry about uh, adding too many new things to this shop. It was kind of just like repositioning yeah. and just recurating yep. things throughout the process. So right. we're gonna get to that final number on total cost of all the material items and the labor and all the other stuff in a bit. Uh, is there anything else you wanna share about this wall or anything you got over here? I know you moved the case and you, yes, this was kind of like two was, aesthetics at the other know, shop and now it's like all in one now spot. Now it's all in one spot. Kind of mashed together. Yeah, so we got like the, the, the sign and the case here now for people since our checkout counter is gonna be over there. Um, but yeah, I would say, you know, this is day one in this new spot. Literally, right? so day one. We are gonna be adding, taking away a lot of little things here and there. We're very nitpicky, right, when it comes mm -hmm. to presenting. So mm -hmm. um, I got like a million things written down. I'm like, Whole you get this done, this right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But so. most of those things are kind of like not really it doesn't, financially yeah. obligations, just kind of yes. move this around, get that over yeah. there, so like, set this up tying or taping cords down or right. like you know fixing some tags or like uh specific ways w brands we want out in certain mm -hmm. spots on the floor so mm -hmm. all these little things that, makes sense yeah, yeah. makes sense okay well uh is there anything else you want to show on this side i see you guys got the skateboard decks and everything over here got a little bit yep. more greenery all these little plants where do you guys go to get this type of stuff <sighs> we went to amazon for those amazon for these ones. yep okay so they're pretty inexpensive they're like 15 20 bucks each one or give so. it a nice little aesthetic to the yeah, shop yeah. you know we're from Add oregon touch, you know, you know? I like the greenery yes. and everything exactly like northwest like <laughs> 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 all right um what else we got everything good over here yeah everything set up. we didn't get to go over the shopping bags yet we gotta go oh over the shopping yeah bags. yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk the about shopping the shopping bags. bags so we're actually uh we ran out of shopping bags towards the end of holiday mm -hmm. we went through them the black and the bags. white. We had a black one and a white yep. one. Black's not in. These are just blanks for time being until the bags get here. So, yeah, we uh, we had someone design these bags for us. Um, we kind of wanted, you know, bags are a great marketing tool. So mm -hmm. people shopping around, if they're carrying your bag, it's like, oh, well, what's that? And then they kind of they'll see it later on, or they'll ask, and it's a good uh, conversation starter, mm -hmm. right? So. What's funny though, during Christmas, a lot of people ask for blank bags. Yeah. Since they're gifts, they don't want like, Nowhere it came give from. it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, yeah, the bags per bag, it costs us about like $2.30 or something like $2 that. $2.30 a bag. And when you guys order a bundle of bags, what are you normally ordering? We usually order like a thousand, a thousand bags plus at a time. Maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred at a time. Okay. Um, so that could easily be, you know, two to four thousand oh, dollars just yeah. on bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a quick but order. But then we also got to pay like, because it's coming Shipping from overseas, so air freight. All this stuff, yeah. So if we want it quicker, we gotta pay air freight, and that's like, could be another eight, nine hundred dollars. Sheesh. Yeah. So it just starts to add on. Just and that's like what we were on. talking about before, all those little things. Like, if you wanna get stickers, you could either give them away, and then yep. that costs, that's a, or you could sell yeah, them and yeah. give them away, try to recoup some of the money, all those little yes. things like that. So we do have stickers, um, as you see, like here. I think we have some more. We just got to put them all out, but um, we even, are even these little tags, right? Like, yep. 
these are the little things that cost money that a lot of people don't pay attention to. Oh, it's a little tag right here, but it's like 10 cent here, 10 cent there, this shoe, that shoe. Next yep. thing you know, it's all adding up. So exactly. those are kind of some of the things that go along with the yeah. just branding and marketing side as well. And the busier your store, right? The more of these things you're going to need to order. The yep. more uh, restocks you're going to have to So have. when you first started, what did you think was like a good number that made sense? Like, I got enough. This should be. It should be good. I don't have to worry yeah. about reordering. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when people open up, they're not really sure. Like, well, should I order a hundred? Should I order a thousand? Right. Like, that's a big, drastic difference in yeah. pricing and all the other stuff. And would you the with, discount with that you inventory get on or without? Uh, with inventory. Well, I mean, we can talk about the inventory in the back if you want <laughs> yeah. to. But well, just all these little things. All these like, little things. I'd say, like, you know, we've we've been listing off all these numbers. Um, you know, mo obviously, sneaker stores. Are, it's going to be a different type of business from like a coffee shop or uh, like a plant store where, you know, different costs will cost different things. But in general, I'd say without inventory, maybe have just a hundred thousand to, to just get everything bought, you know, all mm -hmm. your, all your displays, your like displays. do it correctly. Yeah, have do it, it correctly, good. right? Yeah, yeah. Like if you need a, like we have a computer in the back, if you need a computer, right? Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Like um, all the signage, you got you know labor costs you got to hire people like it's it's a lot of things all the, yeah all the labor on so, setting this stuff so you don't want to be like underestimating it and mm -hmm. then you don't have the money right and then business because business go either way yeah so yeah, yeah you want to be you want to be ready and you know may take risks but be smart right so, okay yeah educate so them. roughly starting off if you want to open a shop recommend it try to get a hundred thousand that'll have you in a good place to get all the essential yes. things that you need and get set up when it comes to displays and everything like yeah. that. You want to take them to the inventory a little bit and just yeah. talk about like yeah. broad numbers of, cause obviously it all varies, depends on the models and the amount of shoes and for sure. the audience and the demographic and all the different things that go along with that. For sure. Which we could talk about in other videos in the future. What would you say is a recommended number for inventory? Because Man. a lot of people go dead stock too, and yep. then they're paying resale from somebody else to then resell it again. Yeah. So they're not getting everything for retail or whatever it may be, finding stuff on discounts. You may get some of those type of shoes. Yeah. Kind of balances out. So what would you recommend? So I think it, it, it kind of, there's a couple factors that like are at play here. Mm -hmm. So um, location is going to be huge, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're somewhere where you're more hard to find, but your, your, your rent's going to be a lot lower, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you might not need such excess amount of inventory like we may have, right? Um, you, also, your demographic might be different. So things that like we sell over here, they might not sell as well over there in some, in some pocket. Literally in the same city. Same city. It could be like that. Like All the time. Like here and there, yep. two completely demos. Exactly, yep. right? That's why like a store like Lululemon, right, could be somewhere mm -hmm. where it does well. And then maybe like 10 blocks over, if it were there, it wouldn't do well. Not as well. Uh, well, as right. well, right? right. So... Um, for us, I would say in general, you want to have like, when we opened the store, we had about 200, 250,000 worth of inventory. Okay. Yeah. And how many pairs do you think that was? Maybe roughly? 300. Um, it was like six, 700 pairs. Six, 700 pairs. That gives you a good amount of sizes between adults, women's, kids, kids right? baby sizes, yeah. a couple of accessories, yeah. clothing and different things exactly, like that. Yeah. So about a couple hundred thousand right there. So we're saying minimum, probably 250,000. If you're like right. doing it right with inventory and setup. Yeah. But like then, but you then you go, see a lot of like, you know. And you can do it for less. You can you do can, it for less. right? Like you see those stores where maybe the size of their space is like a big closet. Right. Where it's like, hey. They don't have to fill as yeah, many spaces like we on have the wall, all the different things. 50,000 worth of inventory. Right. Right. And like, that's the most we can actually hold. And this square footage here is. This square footage here is about 2,600. 2,600 square feet. So yes, like you yeah. said, there's spots at 500, right, 700 right. square feet, whole yeah. different space when it comes to that. You can yes. cut your costs into a quarter of that potentially just based off of those things. So Correct. again, all this stuff varies. This is kind of just based off of this situation. Right. We just wanted to give you guys numbers to help you understand just how it kind of works. And then you can scale it up or down depending on how big it is. Because obviously there's stores that are larger that have more inventory oh, and yeah. all the different things. Yeah. And so it just all kind of varies with that as well. But yeah. hopefully this was helpful. I think oh, we yeah. got a lot out of it. And it was fun coming and seeing all this stuff, helping out, moving yeah. all the shoes, getting everything organized, to set up the whole yeah. process. So and we definitely got to do more stuff for the next oh, shop yeah. too. Oh yeah, we'll do a lot more. Yeah, there's some surprises coming. We will be yeah, cooking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, we one thing I'd say is like for us as well, like a big pillar for our for Hearth is inventory wise. We want to we want to be known for having like any and everything. Okay. Right. Which is not which is hard to do. Right. Yeah. So because. 
one shoe, there's 15 different sizes about, right? right. So yep. it's like, it's a lot of shoes that you, you kind of, you end up buying and, and you may not sell as fast, but we kind of want that reputation of, mm -hmm. oh, they, they probably have it. it. Right. right. So, and that, that honestly takes time to build up to that. Just like it took time from him just starting to sell his first couple of pairs of shoes to then doing those bulk deals to then yeah. eventually doing his stuff. And then how many years has it been from then to now? Like 10. You see what I'm saying? Know, yeah. So we got to remember too, this isn't just overnight success and yeah. all the other things. You got to put the work in, you got to put the time in, Everything you got to learn. And hopefully yeah. these videos are you know educational to help you learn more things faster because we want everybody to speed up the process, honestly. Yeah. Like we want to be able to provide a value so you guys can come in. And if it took him seven or, seven or 10 years or whatever it is, we want you to be able to do it in five or seven years and yeah. be able to cut that year or two off from those things. So learn to learn from anything I've done and try to, you know, make it more efficient. Do it, do it in a year. You There's know? enough out yeah. there for everybody too. Everybody the don't have to be always there. worried about what everybody's wow. pocket watching and everything. I always yeah, gotta yeah, say yeah, that too, because yeah. people just be hating people and I'm like, weird. bro, yeah, there's enough shoes out there. Yeah. We're all good. Everybody's <laughs> gonna be good. So yeah. yes, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think this was good, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, we out of here. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. Guys, Drop some love down there. I'll see y'all in another one. We out. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.